Welcome back to the world of Weatherby. I'm Brett Weatherby, and this is my world. Uh, been out on the back patio doing some work on it, remodeling it and stuff. Got a little hungry and I decided I want to fry up a grouper sandwich. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. We got our Southwest rub. We got our bold and spicy. But today we're using our island rub. We're, we got a pan full of olive oil getting warmed up. And all we got to do, now we took this fish and we thawed it out this morning because we were in the mood for it. And we dried it off. And so if you dry it off, hopefully you'll get some brown crunchies. But we're going to season it up a little bit with this island rub. You can use the bold and spicy. It works really good on a fish when it comes like this. But this is going to be good. We're just going to have it up on some rye bread. And then we're going to get back out on the deck. But I want to share with you how I do this. So anyway, there you go. It's all ready. Uh, all we got to do now is drop it in our pan. And let it sizzle a little bit. Won't take long. And we're going to have us a grouper sandwich. Might not want to do that on your stove if you decide to spill a little bit of the rub out, the seasoning mix. Remember, guys, feel free to stop in and see us at weatherbyrubs.com. Share our Facebook page with your friends. And enjoy. I'm getting ready to. Now it's very simple, and you can do this with any white meat you want, any white fish you like, cod, grouper, you know, whatever your favorite fish is, whatever you can find at the grocery store at a reasonable price. Yeah, that's all you need. I'm just going to put this on top of a uh, little bit of uh, wheat bread and have me some lunch. Doesn't take long. These things are small, but man, I love me some grouper. Just want to make sure that they don't stick. Mmm. Like I say, it don't take long. They're about ready to flip. How do I know? I don't know. I'm just going to try it. See? When I flip them, I'll play with them a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to drink me a beer with my fish sandwich. We don't need to give Anheuser Busch a plug. Ha! All right, looks like we can flip her over now. See, we got them there cooking. All right, now I'm gonna serve these on my sandwich. I'm gonna put I have this mango, tequila, pineapple, jalapeno dipping sauce, and it just sounded good. Uh, you know, you can use whatever you like. It was just something different. We try to change things up a little bit around here. That's just what we do. All right, you can tell it's done is it'll start flaking on you. See, we'll have this mango, the key the sauce. We're just gonna drizzle a little bit on top of that fish. And we'll let that fish continue to cook. Wow, listen to that sizzle. Won't be long now. I hope y'all having a great day. I hope y'all learning some good tips from me. Like I say, I'd be more than happy to send me an email, send me a message, instant message, and I'll try to answer it as quick as possible. If you want to see something on our uh, videos, just uh, put a little hint. We might not get to it right away, but we'll get to it, and we'll try it. You know, we, don't, we aren't scared. We try anything. If it ain't no good, we'll try it again. So it is good. Oh yeah, she's getting right. Yep, I'm just poking it, it's starting to fall apart. 
This is a good, healthy lunch. Smells good anyway. Gonna make a mess. I always make a mess. Look at it go. There you go. Look at it. It's falling apart almost. Almost there. Now my cast iron skillets, the only thing I do is I let this thing cool down and I'll wipe it off with a paper towel to get any of the, the major grease out of it. Then I'll run some hot water in the sink hot water only, and I use a green scrubby, and just kind of scrub around a little bit, and then when you're done, put it up here on top of the stove, warm it up, and get the moisture off it, and you'll have your good seasoned cast iron skillet that'll always be good for you. Oh yeah, we're getting there, almost. We're going to eat this up, and then we're going to get back out to work. We're doing a big project out back. Going to try to make it. You'll see it in our videos and things. Two o'clock on Saturday afternoon. You know, it's a little late to be eating, but that's okay. You get into things. and Okay, we're done now. We're going to turn that stove off. I'm going to show that to you. Look at that. Don't that look pretty? Yes, sir. I'll flip that over. That way you can see that dark side there. Oh, yeah. We're all done. Grouper sandwich, folks. Now, it's what I ought to do is put a slice of onion on this, and then it'll be perfect. But until then, we'll see you next week. Enjoy your day.